I'm Little Leprechaun and welcome back to The Hanged Man. Now, last time, I said I needed to go back because I skipped something, I think. So yeah, be right back. Right, here we are. There was a bit of this cutscene I skipped, so I've just gone back a bit. No, you can't. You're a rat. <laughs> Come confess your sins, oh little lost lamb. You're weird. Uh, maybe big lost lamb? He's just a kid, isn't he? Oh, he's kind of cute. Well, as cute as you can kind of tell. Man, I don't get that at all. There's nothing to confess for. It's just the way things went. Does it mean the thing with the fishing rod? Because that was... I'm putting that on you. Enough fessing around. We gotta think about what to do next. Ooh. Right, yeah, this is where I press skip accidentally. Oh god. I don't know about this place, but I do know it's creepy. I'm not feeling warmed at all. Let's find someplace else, Will. I don't know if I wanna leave. Right, so I'm gonna save. I don't know if I wanna leave now, that was Can we go? Won't open? It's <laughs> sucked up tight with that chain. Scratch that then. But a building this big has got to have other exits. Let's look around, Will. Great. That sounds fantastic. Well, there's a window here. That's a key. Cool. More documents. Anything in there? No. Nope. Alright. It's locked. But I have... No? No. Okay. Uh, went in... Wait. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's locked. Rolling map. Two. Take the map. So this is a kitchen. There is a book. Uh, which reads, collected from room 1508, returned to the library. Okay, we can do that. This looks pretty abandoned. What's in here? Another book. Uh, the name Andy Thorne is written on the cover. Can I read it? I have a new revelation. My Paris tyranny is why, why I'm confined here. And now I feel nothing but an ease. What awaits me is only ruin. This is not the future I desire. The only future I need is one of salvation. Well, okay then. Uh. Oh, it's a bedroom. Okay. <gasps> Guess there's some friends of mine here, Will. You keep your friends away from me. And this is a toilet. Lovely. I assume they're all the same. Drain. Dirty toilet. Toilet paper roll. Okay. Nothing of interest in here. Right. Uh, 
So is it locked? Key. No. Will my key work on this? Yes! Aha! And you're locked. Okay. Oh, so this is like eating place. I get the feeling there's going to be a, like a boss fight in here at some point. Kitchen. <gasps> Pop. Keep your friends to yourself. Something on the shelves. Ooh! Something inside, but it won't open. Well, why not? <sighs> How do I get it? No? Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can turn. Oh gosh. Somebody's coming. Oh. Oh. Is this hidden? Am I hidden? Oh. Okay, we're just think we're going to stay here. Oh no. Oh no, he's going to see me. He saw me! What are you doing here? Oh, it's Keith! Hey. Help me, Keith, I'm scared! Hi! It's Keith! You that runaway kid at the motel yesterday? Hello! What are you doing in a place like this? What's your name? Why aren't you in school? <laughs> Hi! Well, at any rate, this is a restricted area. Come on, we're leaving. But there's a thing! What? Sheesh. I'm not in the community safety division here. Your point? Hey, if you're running from home, stick to motels. Because this is an especially bad place to stay the night. This place is what they call haunted. Well, it's our dude. Oh, guess you didn't know. Fifteen years ago, five people died here. And in a real unusual way at that. So, why would you tell me that? Keith! Sometimes some kids come here on a dare, but they come back telling the strangest stories. That they saw shadows or heard sobbing. Well, I saw a person, so beat that. You want to know how those five got killed? No, not really. I hear they were hung, and their guts were cut open. All five of them. Keith, this is unnecessary. Please stop. They were hung by the leg, upside down. The blood pouring from their stomachs dyed them red. Keith! God, stop! I swear. That. <gasps> ah! <laughs> or so the story goes. Well. That's so unnecessarily mean! Aww, he is a cutie. A rat. That's my pet rat. Oh, he can, he's talking! Pop! Pop! <laughs> so you can speak. This is your fault, Keith. Give me back my rat. What did you have to do that for? Pop got scared off because you threatened him. That was your pet? Yes. He's not my pet. He's my friend. He wouldn't have been in my pocket otherwise. Huh? I mean, <coughs> anyway, you better take responsibility and help me find Pop. Hey, look for that rat. You must be joking. Keith. He ran away because you threatened him, okay? I'll say I'm sorry for being threatening, but I had no reason to expect you had a rat in your pocket, did I? Well, you should have been threatening a kid anyway. You don't want your pet running. He's a leash. What if he jumped out and bit somebody? Pop would never bite people. Sure, like you know best. Maybe you kept that rat in your pocket because you thought he wouldn't run. But he did, didn't he? That's always bad. 
Sorry, but I've got no time to look for any rats. Don't be mean, Keith. You'll have to do it yourself. And once you find them, get right out of here. Stupid brat. What's your name? None of your business. It's none of your business. Hey. <laughs> get going quick. I don't think the snow is stopping anytime soon. <laughs> Pop. I'll find you. I need to find Pop quick. Then I'll, I'll get out of this place. Yeah, let's do it, Will. I'll be fine on my own. R right, Pop? Oh, He's okay, baby. You're gonna find him. No, we're not going this way. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Let's see. Baby, you in here? It's cause kinda cause we are. Maybe this used to say the floor number. Come to think of it, what floor am I on? No idea. Let that jerk go. I'll go back down and let it just... Great. That's useless. This place is abandoned. Should be fine, right? If we keep going then? Do we have to mark all of them? Not I can kind of hear something. No. I'm not 
not sure if I want to find out what's crying. Okay. Wait. Uh, patients sent to leave the hospital must be interviewed by their doctor within one week. Okay. Building map. Right. So can I mark the floors now? No. Someone's up here crying. Okay. I guess we just have to ignore that then. Right. Ah! So there's a line marked. Can I mark anything here? No. <gasps> Unnecessary in every way. Hello? Oh god, who died? something under the bed. What are you? Beloved Alec. Um, something you're being moved back to building in back to the back building in two weeks. I suppose I'll never get to meet you again. You can still understand if you can still understand me at all, read this letter carefully. A week from now I'll come to see you. At the rightmost seat in the visiting room, I have a knife put under the table, take it with you in something, and s we'll be t two there, but only take one. Someone will bring the other one to you if you fail. Someone has told me he'll definitely get this letter to you. If you've read this, hide it and don't show anyone. Use if anyone finds it. It will mean trouble for Arkin, your loving mother. So in one of the visiting rooms. Where is that? Wait, is that this one? Oh, this one has a sign. And that's the dining room. Oh, the visiting rooms would be upstairs, wouldn't they? You're still crying. So you won't open. 
You won't open. I'm confused. Back room. Uh, I mean, um, I think I know where I'm going. Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's good they do have actually, they do actually have this map, otherwise. I would still be very lost. Uh, I'm going under the assumption that there's nothing I can do about the crying dude for now. Right, so that's the dining room. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This place gives me a really bad feeling. Then we're gonna leave! Is this a visiting room? Yeah, here we go. What are you? Should be a knife on the other side. Damn, we need to get around there then. Can we do that here? I don't like this. It's locked. Um. I'm confused. Um. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there then, because I'm extremely lost and I don't know what to do from here. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry a lot of this episode's been walking around and then Keith showing up out of nowhere. I was like, hi, Keith. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of Heta Oni. Bye-bye.